Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about logical addresses. A logical address is also called IP address. A logical address in the internet is a, currently a 32-bit address that can uniquely define a host connected to the network. Right. In previous tutorial, we studied about physical addresses. Right. Suppose uh, there are two devices which are connected to the same network and uh, data is to be transferred from one device to another and both the devices are connected to the same network. In that case, the physical addresses are enough, right? But uh, what happens, suppose uh, there are two devices and uh, data is to be transferred from one device to another, right? And these two devices are connected to the separate networks, right? They are not connected to the same network. They are connected to the different networks. In that case, the physical addresses are not enough, right? Here, we require logical addresses. Right. So what happens that uh, physical addresses are not adequate in an internetwork environment where different uh, networks can have different formats. Right. So there a universal addressing system is needed in which each host can be identified uniquely regardless of the underlying physical network. So for that purpose, logical addresses are designed. Right. Now, how these logical addresses work? It will be clear after this example. Now, see this diagram. Right. So, here it shows a part of the internet with the two routers which are connecting three LANs. Right. LAN 1, LAN 2 and LAN 3. Right. And each device uh, has a pair of addresses, logical address and physical address for each connection. Now the computer is connected uh, to only one link and therefore has only one pair of addresses and here you can see that uh, each router is connected to three networks, right? So each router has three pair of addresses, one for each connection, right? Uh, it is obvious that uh, each router must have a separate physical address for each connection but uh, it is not obvious why it needs a logical address for each connection. This thing we will discuss in a uh, separate tutorial right now here you can see that uh, this uh, device right here you can see this computer this computer has a logical address a and physical address 20 and uh, this computer this computer has a logical address p and physical address 95 right so right so here we have used uh, these uh, letters to represent the logical addresses and numbers for physical addresses but uh, actually these uh, logical addresses and physical addresses they both are numbers right but here in this example we are representing logical addresses by alphabets right we are representing logical addresses by letters now see what happens this computer with the logical address A and physical address 20, it is the sender, right? And this computer with the logical address P and physical address 95, it is a receiver. Now here, this sender has to send a packet to the receiver. So what happens at the sender in the network layer? What happens? The, the network layer, uh, what it does, it will encapsulate the data in packet, right? And in that packet, it will add the logical address of sender that is a and the logical address of receiver that is p right after that what happens the network layer has to find the physical address of the next hope so here the next hope is router one so what happens at the center the network layer uh, has to find the physical address of this router one so how it finds uh, it will consult the routing table so from routing table it will find the logical address of router one right and then by using ARP that is address resolution protocol it will find the physical address of router 1 as we studied in a previous tutorial about ARP that is address resolution protocol what it does uh, if uh, the logical address of a computer is known right then by using uh, ARP that is address resolution protocol we can find its physical address right if the logical address of a computer is known then by using arp we can find its physical address right then uh, what happened at sender the network layer will pass this uh, address which it has found means uh, the physical address of router one right the network layer will pass that address to the data link layer 
right then what happens uh, at the data link layer right uh, the data link layer encapsulates uh, the packet which uh, it has uh, received from a uh, network layer right uh, it encapsulates that packet with the physical destination address and the physical source address right here physical destination address is the uh, physical address of router 1 and here the physical source address is you can see here it is 20 right so after that what happens uh, that frame which is uh, created here uh, at center by the data link layer it is received by every device on local area network 1 it is received by every device on LAN 1 but it is discarded by all except router 1 right because the router one finds that the destination physical address which is specified in the frame it matches with its own physical address so what happens that router decapsulates the packet from the frame right and when it decapsulates the packet from the frame it finds that the logical destination address which is specified right uh, that doesn't match with its own logical address right so what uh, happens then the router one knows that this packet needs to be forwarded right so so what happens uh, the router one knows that uh, this packet needs to be forwarded so what happens uh, the, then the router one needs to find the physical address of next hop here the next hop is router 2 so to find the physical address of uh, next hop that is router 2 what the router one does it consults its own uh, routing table and it uses this ERP that is address resolution protocol to find the physical address of router 2 right and then it creates a new frame right it encapsulates uh, the packet right and uh, what happens uh, in that frame the physical addresses of source and destinations are changed in that frame the physical address of the source will be the physical address of router 1 and the physical address of the destination will be the physical address of router 2 right but the logical address of source and destination will remain same right uh, so what happens uh, the physical addresses will change from hope to hope but the logical addresses usually remain the same right so what happens uh, the logical source and destination address they must remain the same otherwise the packet will be lost right so what happens when the frame reached at router 2 again same thing is repeated right uh, here again a new frame is created and in that physical addresses of source and destinations are changed right and uh, when that uh, frame reaches at the destination so what happens when frame reaches the destination the packet is decapsulated right and the destination logical address which is p right it matches the logical address of the destination computer right then uh, the data are decapsulated from the packet and it is delivered to the upper layer here you need to notice that the physical addresses will change from hope to hope but the logical addresses they usually remain the same right there are some exceptions uh, to this rule but uh, these uh, exceptions we will study later in separate tutorial